I'm Franklin, and this is a look at the month of January for cancer, and also a look at the coming year. Your best days in January are going to be the 23rd, the 24th, and the 25th when the moon is in Cancer. This is when you are at high tide. When the moon sign, the moon, passes through Cancer, we all feel the need for home and family. The new year coming up, 2024, adds up to eight. So it'll be a time of reaping whatever you have sown over the past seven years. 2024 will evolve for you with these changes coming. In January, something exciting, a new opportunity will allow for your creativity to grow. In February, you need help and interaction with others if you're going to uh, really be as successful as you can be. And in March, all uh, of your past experiences, everything that you've ever done comes into play now as you uh, look back and are able to learn from your past. In April, someone on your team wants out. This calls for a total regrouping and the uh, laying out of a new plan. In May, you're extremely attractive to other people. So there's going to be many choices, many options for you to uh, consider. In June, this is the time for you to give back, share what uh, you've been given to with those you love. In July, you asked for help. Your guides gave it to you. Now's the time to show your appreciation by using that advice. In August, money problems from your past lives make you hesitant to take control of your own finances now, but this month you're going to have to. In September, this is the time for looking back, being able to fully understand what has been happening to you throughout the year. In October, arguments are going to come from the suppression of feelings. Uh, the unspoken sensitivities are going to come to the fore. In November, intense chemistry added to insecurity and doubts causes an emotional explosion. And then in December, self-expression is a must, or the consequences will be played out very publicly for everyone to see. Now here's a look at January for the water sign Cancer, and we'll begin with Cancer in love. In week number one, the influences that come this week will be from Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Pluto. So the old cycle ends because you have gotten all of the good out of it. And now the new cycle has a reason to come into being. Week number two, the influences are from Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. You're feeling very original and uh, ready to follow your own ideas when all of a sudden you cross paths with a fellow adventurer. In week three, and this one is uh, influenced by Jupiter, Neptune, Mars, and Venus. A person that you thought to be ideal proves to be only human and capable of making mistakes. And this is the lesson you were supposed to take from that situation. In week number four, the influences here are the sun, the moon, and Mercury. You get to see both sides of a person that you have an interest in, and this is going to change your opinion of that person. Now here's a look at January in your career. In week number one, there's both an ending and a new beginning that rises from what is left of the old to take its place. Week number two, a coworker is just the partner that you need to allow you to do the job that makes you happy. And in week number three, when you put someone up on a pedestal, you're setting them up for a fall because no one is perfect. 
In week number four, you get the chance to show your boss how you perform under pressure and what an asset you can be. Now, here's a look at January in your finances. In the first week of the month, all that you receive is meant to be used, shared, be thankful for, and then released so it can boomerang back to where it came from, as all good and bad things do. In week number two, good ideas come from the most unlikely sources and need to be acted upon as soon as possible because things change every day. In week number three, know that you are unique and what you hear and what you see is meant for your consumption only. In week number four, the sun reveals reality. The moon reveals what is in your heart and you obtain knowledge by combining these two powerful agents of change. So that's a look at the days in January, according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at the nights in January, according to the moon sign. In week number one, and this is the week of the last quarter of the moon, that will rise in Libra. So the dream, the fantasies that come now, will show the need for impartial justice and how little of it there really is in our world. In week two, the week of the new moon, this moon rises in Capricorn. The dreams, the fantasies that come now are about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, about having hope for the future. In week number three, and this is the week of the first quarter of the moon, and this moon will rise in Taurus. The dreams, the fantasies that come now are about the tearing down of the old and the new arising from the ashes. And then in week number four, the week of the full moon that rises in Leo, the dreams, the fantasies that come now will show the light of reason, chasing away the darkness of ignorance, giving you answers. And that's a look at January for the water sign Cancer. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.